Hi, welcome to this video about, well, about APIs, because this is the first video of a series called Fun with APIs. Um, I must confess, I did, um, I was influenced in this name by Fun with Flags, but as well, except for the small influence, because I'm a fan of the series, nothing more. So what can you expect from these um, videos? Uh, well, in these videos, I'm going to present you really nice APIs and I'm going to browse in them either in depth or a little bit and show you how you can make uh, calls on those APIs. Um, since one of the most important parts or most important events of February was actually the uh, Mars landing, I decided that it would be suitable to have an API from actually NASA be the first uh, video of the series. So if we go to apis.nasa.gov for government and we, we have here, so this is what you see when you first go in, you can click on browse APIs. You have here all of the APIs um, that they provide. We're going to have a look in this video at the first one, which is the astronomy picture of the day. And one important part here in this API, in this um, video, for this API, you do not need an API key. You see, you have here generate API key. Um, there is a demo API key. It has some limitations, meaning you can do about uh, 1,000 um, requests, which is more than enough for this video. But if by any chance you want to have uh, more requests done, you can always generate your own API and then try it, um, try to follow along with what we do in the video. You just will need to input your API instead of the demo API. Okay, so let's have a look at the picture of the day. So we open it and what does this contain? This actually contains images, high resolution and non high resolution images, which NASA um, makes public for the actual public. And the API has for us a GET endpoint, so it means we can only get information from the server. There is no endpoint where we can post information for the server. And each of the images has, for indication, the copyright. Um, as in case the uh, well, in case you cannot use the image for. Um, public use, in case it has a copyright infringement. So let's have a look at the example query. If we open it, uh, let me just format it nice. I have a really nice Chrome extension called uh, JSON view. And here you have the picture of the day, it always shows you per default um, the current date. You have the information of who uh, has the copyright, explanation of what you can see there, the high definition image, the media type, a title and the non-high definition image. So let me show you this is the high definition and this is the non-high definition. You can see if I zoom in, there's definitely a huge difference between the two. Okay, so we have here the um, date of the Mars rover landing. And the reason why I put that is I'm pretty sure NASA has an image of the landing, which uh, they uh, made available. So as you can see, let's try to say the date. So we have here the, demo, the API key, which is the demo key. And we want to add the date and the date would be 2021. Um, I think it's month, oops, month and then day, yeah, month zero two and the 18th. And let's see, do we have actually, yes, this is a picture taken from the Swiss Alps Martian sky. So from the day where, um, when actually the rover landed. Okay, so um, 
the first option that we saw, we have the opportunity to see the picture of the day. We can select a specific date. We can select a start date. So let's uh, so let's start with the 18th. And oh, see, we have an error here. Okay, what did I do wrong? Start underscore date. Okay, start underscore date. And now we have one, two, three, four. So the four posts since the 18th, including the 18th. So the start date, what does it do? It shows you all of the images from the start date up to today. So if we were to put here the 01, it would show us all of the images from the 1st of February up to today's date, which is the 21st of February. And of course, you have the same format everywhere. You have the copyright. In case there is a copyright, you can see here, we have no copyright. Oh, have a nice video here. As well, through here, there's also no, no copyright. Oh, this, is the, this is the Apollo mission, it seems. So we've seen start date. We can also have, a, let me just close this one. We can also have an end date. So we have a start date and an end date. So let's make everything between the beginning of the month and um, well, Valentine's Day. And of course I did something wrong. I put the double. Um, I need an, an end, not a dollar sign. But as you can see, so in case I make a mistake, I get a 400 response, which means bad request. So that's an indication for me. I need to go and read back on the documentation. Okay, so we have here all of those images between the beginning of the month and the 14th. And the last option, which uh, we're going to have a look at, is the count. So like it says here, um, it will give a random number of images. So let's see, we remove this and we say count, I don't know, 55. So I'm expecting to get 55 entries here. Okay, if I scroll down, um, actually I cannot tell if they're 55 or not, but I can tell if I do an inspect and I go to the network. And if I refresh the page, you can see the request is being made. Um, let's make this one a little bit bigger. And I have, okay, this is the count. And here I have 54, but since it starts at zero, it's actually 55 entries with all of the information. There you have it. This is the first video of uh, the series fun with APIs. I hope you like it and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.